Today, I'm headed to my first ever Kansas City Chiefs game to see Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, and of course, most importantly, Taylor Swift. Oh yeah, and Andy, I wanna see Andy too. I bought tickets in row one for an outstanding price of $3,625 Canadian. I got the seats on the visitor's side because it would put me directly across from Taylor Swift's suite. I also booked a tour of the Arrowhead Stadium, which is actually the loudest stadium in the world. It clocked the highest registered sound in 2014 at 142.2 decibels, which is apparently louder than a jet plane taking off. This would be roughly a nine hour flight with American Airlines, and it would cost me a total of $3,454.32 for two tickets. In economy! Which came to a grand total of $7,097.34. I knew Taylor Swift tickets were gonna be expensive, but I didn't expect them to be so much. So to help pay for this trip, here's a quick word from our sponsor, DraftKings. Hey you! Oh, my ears. I've taken this moment away from officiating sports to let you know that I'm partnered up with DraftKings, the official daily fantasy sports partner of the NFL, to get you closer to the action. Right now, new customers can play free for a shot at their share of huge cash prizes with their first deposit of only just $5. To play, all you have to do is draft your roster, and each of those players earn points based on their in-game performance. It's really that easy. So what are you waiting for? Download the DraftKings app now. New customers, use my promo code TROYDAN and play free for a share of millions in total prizes with just a $5 deposit on the DraftKings app. Again, that's promo code TROYDAN, only at DraftKings. And again, a thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring this video. Rise and shine, Ugh. Kansas City. Is she here? Is is Taylor Swift here? Taylor, where are you? Is that her? No, it's a homeless. It is 9.30 in the morning. We are in Kansas City right now, and we have a tour of the stadium that Taylor is gonna be going to tomorrow. It's called Arrowhead Stadium, and it's where the Kansas City Chiefs play. The tour of the stadium's in about an hour, so I'm gonna take a poop and Possibly take another one. I like to do back to back. All right, enough yapping. Let's head to the tour. Oh, my hand. As you can see, we are live here in front of Arrowhead Stadium for our tour that I um, accidentally got for the wrong stadium. That's right. The tour we have is for the Kansas City Royals. I'm not even making this up. You're an idiot. I am not kidding at all. I booked the wrong tour. I thought that I didn't realize the stadium was right there. That two stadiums are literally right next to each other. So it's an easy mistake for anyone to make. Even though I'm a diehard Blue Jays fan, I still decided to go on the tour of the second worst team in baseball today. Going in. Gentlemen over this way, ladies over that way. If anybody needs to use the restroom, I don't see anybody. Oh, by the way, I picked the worst time to ever come on this tour. The whole stadium smelled like cow shit. They were in the middle of changing the field. Apparently, they still use real grass, so they're using real manure to grow it. You have no idea how bad this smelled. <laughs> Jason, oh, it's on. I don't have any players. <laughs> A few moments later. It's always on, ready to go. So that's why I caution people if they had their picture taken, please don't shout anything and do the microphones. Or you have also be on camera. I had to write an apology to Major League Baseball, but after that, I think we're on good terms. <laughs> A cool thing I noticed in the locker rooms is that they had MLB The Show cards on the wall. Must be some gamers here. What else can you do when you're losing? We have people that work in here called clubhouse attendants, clubbies, and their job is to take good care of the visiting team. Does not smell great. Does not smell great here at all. I can't emphasize enough how bad it smelled here. It's like being on the farm with no animals or father figures. Apparently this team won a championship too. That or it's stolen. The latter makes more sense. This would be a great field for Timmy. So I just got done the Kansas City Royals tour. I'm still a little annoyed that uh, I went to the wrong one, but it was fun. Good news, we contacted someone. We are able to go to a tour later in the day. We have two hours to kill before we can go to the reason I'm here. I can't believe this happened. This is not a skit. A humble leader. 
Jeez. While we waited for the tour to begin, we went to the only place that was open in the area, the Kansas City Chief Gift Shop. This place was in the middle of nowhere, but still packed, and it wasn't even game day. Prohibited items. Uh, oh man, I can't bring a gun. Oh, this sucks. I thought this was America, home of the free. I also tried to see if I could find some spots that Taylor could possibly be hiding. I wonder if Taylor's in there. Taylor, are you in here? Maybe she's in here. I thought she'd be in the trash. Taylor's man. With no luck, I decided it's time to go into the tour. And it turned out that 90% of the people on the tour were there for only one thing as well. I will, in one minute, I will show you where she'll be. I don't know what time she'll be here. That's up to Travis, how she gets in here. She'll come in through the secure area. She will be here though, right? She will be here, yeah. <laughs> and I think she leaves. But yeah, she'll be here for one more. She's here now. She with the travels. 21 of these suites on this level. Go back on top of Arrowhead, go to the end, the last four windows uh, on the underneath the black banner at the end. That's Brittany Mahone's and her family, Patrick's mom and, and uh, some of his family's up there. And there's a possibility Taylor could be there. If not, come back down to the <laughs> D where you see the bar in the middle there. That's the Kelsey suite right there. And that's where she's been the last few games right in that area. They take her down that elevator down to by the locker room and then they go out that way so they're not, oh, they're <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting the insight. Okay. He threatened to smash my camera if I or anyone talked about Taylor again on the tour. He was nice enough though to show us the private elevators that Miss Swift uses to get to the suite. We were able to go down to the tunnels and see all the championships that the Chiefs won over the years. He also let us on the field, which he wasn't allowed to do, and he was chewed out by a security officer. Much nicer than the other stadium. Much nicer. That was my comment, period. It's on. Hello. Will Taylor be here tomorrow? That's a yes. Thank you. He threatened to deport me, but honestly, I don't think he has that authority anyway. This week will run you 950000 a season, and your food and drink is extra, whatever you want for your clients. After walking around and seeing the different sights in the arena, I felt pretty confident I knew where Taylor was going to be sitting. Oh, and look at that! A couple Super Bowls as well. I don't see any PSA 10s. So I just got done the tour. Uh, they threatened to kick me out three times for filming, but I've told them to suck it. I didn't tell them to suck it, but they did threaten to kick me out. I think I got the inside on where Taylor is staying as well. I'm now gonna go back to the hotel and watch the UFC fights that hopefully I win. Tomorrow. We had some time before kickoff, so I decided to go see the only tourist attraction in Kansas City, the zoo. Hey look, it's Kevin Durant. Can you name one NBA player for me? I think that's a no. Hey, what's going on, Lonzo? That one looks evil. This, this one's friendly. Is it? Bite? Friendly goat? Bite, friendly goat. Hey, buddy. Don't bite my camera or hurt me. Didn't this thing kill Steve Irwin? You're lucky I forgive. Quack, quack. The Kansas City Zoo had tons of animals to see, but unfortunately I was a little bit short on time and couldn't see them all. So hot. It smells like dead animals and real animals and other animals. I think I farted. When I was walking in the elephant area, I'm pretty sure I heard a little kid call me Troy Daddy. I punched him in the face. Don't worry, he was eight for the mamba. We had to go quick. Apparently it takes forever to get an Uber in Kansas City. Oh! All right, as you can see, I've picked up some uh, some swag. I got a Kansas City chain. This is real gold. Got a new jersey. This is uh, Travis Kelsey. And uh, I, I, I've been practicing my chain. Oh! And since my girlfriend's coming to the game, I need to make sure she knows her football as well. So, I'm gonna test her. All right, we're gonna play a game. You've done this before with pro wrestlers, but now it's time to do this with NFL stars. You're gonna guess who this is. Here's our first person right here. Uh, OJ, I know this one. 
It's O.J. Simpson. How did you know that was O.J.? Well, I mean, I've seen his face before. Oh my god. All right, here's a harder one for you. Oh, maybe Derek Jeter? That is not Derek Jeter. Okay. That is, that is Ray Rice. All right, here's another one. This one should be easier. Is that Aaron Hernandez? How do you know this? Because I saw his face. Do you know what he did? <laughs> yeah. What'd he do? He killed his wife and his family and himself. And this one should be the easiest one then. Oh, that, that, that's Tom Brady. How did you know all these? Are you a secret football fan? Apparently, yeah. What the hell? Better not have a side man that likes football. All right, she knew a lot more players than I expected, but we got to get to the game now. We're, we're running late and Ubers are really hard to get. Apparently everyone is there to see Taylor Swift. Let's go Chiefs. Ah. I had never seen so many people in one place. It was like we're in China, but instead of Chinese, it was Chiefs fans. We're almost there. A little bit of a walk. Bit of a line. Just a little bit. Made it in, but I lost my pendage. I don't know where it went. We actually made it in pretty quick for the amount of people that were there. I was pleasantly surprised. As we made our way down to the seats, I realized it was quite sunny out, and I didn't have any sunblock. And in case you don't know, I'm a cracker. We're here a little early, but uh, it's better than late. about some of the audio here. The stadium was so loud that my iPhone wouldn't even pick it up properly. Patrick! Founder! Founder! 
Ref, you suck. Ref, you suck. Come again. But the Kansas City Chiefs had no problem beating the uh, Chargers. The Chargers. My bet is safe. It's very important. Chargers, man, tell. Grab it. There you go. Literally had you. Thank you. Got the win. A win is a win is a win is a win. It's now time for the real challenge. Getting an Uber home. This is gonna be a wild one. Getting an Uber here was like trying to find a needle in a haystack. We had to walk two hours to a sketchy neighborhood to order one. So how was your first football game? It was great. Was it? It was exciting. Weren't you cheering the other team? <laughs> no. I saw you cheering the other team. Maybe by accident. We just made it back home to the hotel. The Chiefs won and it took us two and a half hours to get an Uber. Yeah. <laughs> The Chiefs won, and most importantly, we got to see Taylor Swift. I saw her, I know it was her, I zoomed in as much as I could. But I lost my thing. I don't know where my pendant went. It disappeared somewhere. I think someone stole it. The seats were good, but I kind of regret not going on the home side. I just feel like it'd be better to be on that side because it'd be closer to Patty Mahomo. And I think my ears are ringing. There was a very loud white woman behind me clapping every single play. Regardless, I had a good time at it and uh, a little bit of sunburn, but you know, I'm very pasty. I think I deserve this. Either way, it is currently 9 p.m. We have a flight at three in the morning, so we have an eight and we're not gonna sleep either. Let's go, boys. Woo! Guys, thank you for watching. And as always, keep your stick on the ice. I'm getting canceled. <laughs>